All right, what's going on guys, Dan Watson, and I've got a super early preview of a brand new software called Luminar Neo, and it's actually a pretty fitting name because in just a couple of days, And I'm pretty stoked for that personally. Definitely got some tickets ready, but Luminar Neo. This was actually really unexpected because there are actually two different versions of Luminar already in place. There's the Luminar 4 photo editing software and then this Luminar AI, which is a very automated type system. So what is Luminar Neo and why should you want it? So basically Luminar Neo is a combination of both of those pieces of software and it's really kind of taking the best attributes from each one of them, which is really nice. So I talked to the people from Skylum and basically the problem was that in order to integrate all of these new features into Luminar, they had to start from the ground up in order to keep things fast. And I will say, I'm a huge fan of Luminar 4. I use it. It's not the fastest software out there. It's actually slower than Lightroom, which is also not one of the fastest pieces of software out there. So whatever they had to do to keep things fast and to integrate these features, I'd say I'm fine with. Plus there are some massive discounts to this if you pre-order. Uh, you can check out the links below, I've got them right there. This actually costs less than just a couple of months of subscription to Adobe Lightroom. And it is so awesome that even if you have a subscription to Adobe Lightroom or some other photo editing software, you will probably want Luminar Neo. So first of all, this is a pretty early build. It's actually about two months before their final release. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm not sure exactly how things will change into the final version, but I will say that things are really powerful as of now. I would say the only thing that kind of surprised me a little bit is that it's a very simplistic catalog system. So if you're someone who is a power catalog user, you might still be using something like Lightroom for your catalog features. However, if you just want a very simple photo editor, this is probably gonna be game changing for you. So let's get into a few pictures and I'll show you what you guys can do. But first, a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I have been using their software for years to build my websites and it was able to give me custom galleries, full storefronts, and some really awesome calendar features. And they were nice enough to give me a coupon code for you guys to use. So obviously Squarespace makes it crazy easy to build a new site with templates, customizable blocks for adding in new content, and even the ability to search through thousands of images to help you get started. And there are just some insane tools for photographers and videographers from custom galleries that allow you to password protect them for sharing privately with clients and the ability to add in e-commerce to be able to sell your products online as well. I was able to upload my camera guide so I could sell them straight through my site in just a matter of minutes. There's also a full scheduling system so you can actually have your clients sign up directly for their sessions online. So go ahead and check them out guys. It's completely free to get started. Just use my coupon code learning cameras when you build something awesome and you can go live with that site today. So taking a look at the software, it is a very simple interface compared to something like Lightroom or Capture One or something like that. Uh, basically you have your photos here in a grid format. You have information about your photos. So you can click on and find out everything about them. And you have just a few little options here and there. So again, I don't know how much this will change, but as of now, it's a pretty simple catalog feature. But where the power is, is definitely in the editing. And you can see right here that this is kind of that combination of Luminar 4 and the Luminar AI right here because you have a full raw editing platform here. So we can click on this develop module. You have your exposure, contrast. We can tune all of this stuff. You have the full power for highlights, shadows, blacks, white, curves. All of that is here. Full RGB colors, temperature, slider, vibrance. Everything that you need to do full raw editing is absolutely here. And this is a raw file from the Sony A1, for example, so a 50 megapixel file right here. However, you also have all of the AI tools from Luminar AI. So basically, instead of going through all of this develop module, if we wanted to, we can just click on enhance and use this accent feature right here. And this is going to basically, it looks like it's lowering the highlights in the sky, it's bringing up some of the shadows and adding some contrast. And just like that, I have a pretty awesome looking photo right there. This basically took my raw file and made it a really nice processed image. However, you can take things up a notch and go ahead and do some sky enhancing too to be able to add maybe a little bit of depth just to that sky area real quick. Now this is really cool. This is a really awesome photo right here. We can go into the color 
uh, aspects right here. We have full HSL, so I can go into my hues and I can maybe turn that blue a little bit more towards cyan and we'll go into the saturation slider, lower it a little bit and maybe take out, we'll up some oranges, but take out some reds and greens and some of the other colors that I know are not really dominant in this image. We can go into the luminous slider, kind of lower some of those and make it a really cool kind of filmic look on that. So yeah, already I've got some really cool stuff going on with this photo. But really some of those editing tools are just the beginning. So we can also, I'll take it into another photo right here and we'll go in and do some of that same thing. So we'll just go into those AI tools. We'll accent a little bit, a little bit of sky enhancing. Actually, we're not gonna need this at all because one thing that we can do is go right out in here into this sky. But this is actually a pretty cool sky, but we can one up it if we wanted to and check out what some other options are here. Uh, you have a bunch built in. You can also get more if you want to. But yeah, you can do some pretty awesome, insane things right here. And I mean, look at that, that's pretty awesome. So yes, you can tune these exactly the way you want to. I kind of like the way that this is looking right here. This a little bit more of the vibe that I am going for. Now there are a bunch of other tools on this sky replacement too. So you can see actually in my original one, that sky is kind of defocused because I'm shooting at a pretty wide aperture and this guy is completely sharp. So we will go into this and change some of our defocus. Let's go ahead and bring that up a little bit. And there's some of that before and after. So yeah, in a couple of clicks, we just did some pretty insane things right there. But also we have the ability to, you've seen this in some of the other softwares, but you can add sun flares and all kinds of really awesome things. So if we took that light, put it up here, and yeah, you can do some absolutely stunning things with these images, it's incredible. Actually, the sun is probably a little bit closer to here, but we can change the amount of penetration that we're getting from that into the image and give it a little bit more of that atmospheric effect on there. And yeah, this is absolutely insane what we've done with a couple of clicks. We didn't do any of like raw processing right here. The AI structure is just basically like contrast and clarity. So you can add that if you want. I don't like going overboard on that kind of stuff, but we definitely have a bunch of different options for getting the most out of your images. Now, a lot of the new AI tools that they pulled are actually gonna be related to portraits. Like here's a portrait, for example, shot at the 50 millimeter 1.2. You can add bokeh, like similar to what your phone is doing. This was shot at 51.2, so it's not really gonna do too much on that one. However, we do have some face and eye editing things. So you can see that we can kind of add a little bit of of light to the face if you go overboard just so you can see it but yeah I would typically just add just a tiny bit again these are not things that I would normally touch but just for example you can change the whitening of the eye enhance the eyes a little bit just with a slider right there just with a couple of clicks you can see like what it's editing right there and it is making a pretty massive difference so coming into the skin you can click and you have a skin defect removal and you can add a little bit of that softening effect to skin and literally in a couple of clicks, there is a before and after and is making a massive difference. Plus, again, we still have all of these incredible tools from Luminar 4 that are here as a full raw editor to be able to go through our develop module and edit our raw files to some really cool ones like the ability to just add in fog and haze into an image. Look at that, that's really cool. I'm kind of digging the way that that's kind of looking on there. So we'll do a little bit less. There's a little before and after of just what that's done to kind of clean up some of that background area. You can add, again, sun rays to your image, which can be really cool for just a little bit of effect. The matte can be really awesome, more for landscapes, but it, I even like just a little bit of what it's doing right here. So yes, there are so many tools in this. It's pretty crazy. Now I do wanna show you this other really neat tool. So let's go into uh, this image right here. One thing that's always a big issue is if you have dust spots in your image right here. So look at this. I can actually come into this eraser tool and hit remove dust spots. And then just like that, in a few seconds, my dust spots have been removed from the image. So let me kind of zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see that before and after. There's my dust spot and it was just completely eliminated on there. 
Another example is actually you can erase power lines. And this is not a good image. It was just the only one. I usually would avoid power lines, but this is something I took on a phone. And you can see these power lines in the background right here. So we'll go into the erase, hit remove power lines. And you can see that this will just completely remove them. So just like that, I no longer have these annoying power lines in my image. You can see it still left like the light poles and stuff, but a before and after, and it got rid of those power lines. I mean, they have full erase tools and everything like that, but yes, yeah, some really unique options to be able to do some amazing things with your image right here. Again, here's another really cool image, and I can pop into this enhance. Boom, look at that. Literally in one click, look how much better that made my image before and after in one slider. We take that and we add a little bit of atmosphere to that, some fog. We will add some sun rays and make the sun. Let's see, where should the sun be? Let's try it from this area right here. And we'll bring a little bit of that flare, a little bit less of that. And look how awesome this this is right here. So like before and after, we can do some really cool stuff. It's way too much sun flare, but you see what I'm doing right here. Plus these sun settings, you have so much on here. You can change the radius of the glows, you can change the warmth to better match the scene. So there is so much control here. It is absolutely insane. So yeah, I also have some pre-order links down below that will get you guys some really awesome discounts on it. So definitely go check those out. But yeah, we have two months to go before this hits the market and this is already looking absolutely incredible. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. I just got some brand new lenses in it, so stay tuned. Some really cool stuff is coming out. Merry Christmas to you guys. Hope you guys enjoy some time with the family, and I'll see you soon in a new video.